a big hallelujah. Our Father, we thank you. We we'll bless your name for bringing us thus far. And as we're going into a section of encounter with you, Holy Spirit, let your power fill this auditorium in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, Father, that not man, but you show forth your mighty power. Crown all efforts and let your will be perfected. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Will you please stand up together as we go into God's presence? Shall we stand up? I think this, uh, this section is for prayer. This section is to receive God's favor. This section is to cry unto the Lord. This section is a period to receive from the Lord. Lift up your hands wherever you are. And say this word after me. My father, my father. I can't hear somebody speak. Shout it, my father, my father. Let the heavens be open upon my life and destiny. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. This money I'm not here to waste time. We are here only to see God. We are here to have an encounter with the Lord. Father, let the heavens be open upon my life that I may see you, that I may feel you, that I may receive from you. Is somebody saying something? Are you talking to the Lord? In Jesus' name we are praying. Open your eyes. You are not here to see me, but to see God. Some of you have been coming to this convention for the past 40 years. What have you received? It is not just fulfilling tradition. It is not just wasting investment of God's people. You are here to seek God. Tell your neighbor, I must receive. You are not saying it. Turn to that person. Tell him, I must receive. This morning, there's a message. At the time I was preparing for the ministration, the Lord said three angels will be in our midst. You can't celebrate God. But this, you are too dull. This is a generation of people receiving from the Lord. I said three mighty angels. If that will be your portion, shout a big hallelujah. I can feel you. I can feel you. I can feel you. The first angel, the Lord says, Angel mercy will come here. If you receive that prophecy, lift up your hands, shout it, Angel mercy. Attend to me. Open your mouth and break in the name of Jesus. Talk to the Lord. Father, you said you will give mercy. You said you will grant mercy. Are you praying? Father, let your mercy, let the heavens of mercy in Jesus name we are praying. Open your Bible. Don't sit down. Psalm 30 verse 5. I have a very short time. Your eminence, I will obey your word. 
Psalm 30, verse 5. Can we all read it together? Are you there? Let me hear you read. Put down your Bible. Put down your Bible. Hold somebody by your side. You will call upon the name of Jesus one time. You will tell the Lord, Father, fulfill your word in the life of this person I'm holding. Will you cry unto the Lord Jesus? Jesus' name we are praying. Hold the second person. We have just very few minutes. It says, For his anger endured but a moment. His favor is what? His life. When God favors a man, it has no limits, it is for eternal. Who are, who are you holding? Hold somebody. Face that person. We are here to pray. Two, two. Let's hold ourselves. Say with me. Oh Lord. A lifetime favor. A lifetime favor. Give it to the person I'm holding. Open your mouth and pray. He said, my favor is for life. He's everlasting. He's for everlasting. He's for everlasting. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Hold the third person, another person. Look at me. Somebody this morning, a door of favor that your generation will forever experience we come to your life in the name of Jesus you will pray for that person say with me oh Lord generation of favor grant to this person today open your mouth and pray The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy is never to an end. Somebody just look, look at me. When God opens doors of favor unto a man, there's nothing the enemy can do. Am I speaking to somebody? A chapter is about to close and a new one is about to be opened. I speak prophetically to somebody. Saying one mighty amen to this prayer. That favor that your generation is expecting. It will start from you in the name of Jesus.
you are going to pray that same prayer point, listen to me. If only we can take three and we go back home, are we not okay? Your eminence, I know, oh yeah, you sir. Let's put the hand and celebrate. It has never happened before. We have a very short time. Somebody say favor. Shout favor. They run you every morning. Always he renews favor. 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 He renews This section, we are not sitting down. There's no, there's no protocol matter. You can come forward and pray. Just 15 minutes left. There's a prophetic work coming now. Where you have been rejected, you will be celebrated. Yeah. We are going to cry to the Lord. Are you here? You've been seeking for a job. There's no favor. Favor will knock your door. You've been looking for an opportunity. There's no opportunity. Are you there? You better rush out here. Favor will speak on your door. Favor will speak for you. 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 We are going to cry unto God. Put your hands upon your head. Say, my father, my father. Can you say it in a new way? My father, my father. Let the favor of my generation. Let it stop from me. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Is somebody talking? Are you speaking to God? God wants to search out his own. It can start from your children. It's starting today. It's starting today. Favor, 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 favor. Lord, something new, Lord. Something new, Lord. Something new, Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Excuse me. In the book of Numbers 13. The Lord said unto Moses, because the story of Joshua that we have read did not start in chapter 14. It started somewhere. The Lord said, Select for me 12 men out of each clown. And the people went back home. They sought for a leader of their clan. Look at me. The Lord will select you out. Amen. See, the Lord will select me out. Out of the twelve, I don't know how they did it. Be it political or heritage, you know at times we favor ourselves for position. The clowns, each clowns, went down. They selected twelve people. Ten of them failed God. Only two. Only two saw the right thing. Who is that person? Joshua and Caleb. It was at that time that Moses looked at Joshua. Oshia. He said, you will no longer be Oshia. But what? Joshua. Because Joshua had been faithful. Read your Bible very well. Somebody say faithful. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Do you mind to know the theme or the topic I'm considering? The topic, I belong to a new generation. The Lord will bless somebody here. 
moving forward finishing the race as you possess your possession will you possess your possession today now it came killer was choosing from his own clan the clown that is holding prophecy the clown of Judah I speak there's a spirit coming out right now I declared where people are being mentioned for greatness your family name will not be left behind I'm not hearing a better amen somebody say prophetic section prophetic section I can't hear you. A coco, a sotele. No, the word is just flowing. It's flowing. It's flowing. It's flowing. A word will meet with you today. Amen. You will be highly favored. Caleb was selected and he did not disappoint. Mark my word. The first thing to God's blessing of you possessing your possession is faithfulness to God. After prophetic period, Moses said to Joshua, he said, this is what the Lord has said, that you and your generation we possess the land. Sit down for a minute. It's a serious moment. So that we know where we are going. But there was a problem. Caleb could not possess the possession. Not until after 45 years. I don't have enough time. Of the truth, Joshua was with Caleb. And it got to a time when they divided the land. But Caleb, prophetic word was not respected. In verse 5, the Bible says, He brought his clown to meet with Joshua. Joshua, you were there when it was said. DOP, come outside. You were there when it was said. But it seems you have forgotten. There's a word coming out right now. As it came to me, wherever you'll be forgotten, you will be remembered. You are not saying a better amen. I can't feel your amen. There is a widow here. He said you have labored on your children, but you are not eating. By next month, there is a child of glory in your household. That child will receive appointment. Listen to me. And he told Uncle Joshua, this is my own Joshua. He was West poor place. I'm not joking here now. You know, at times, if you don't speak, your best friend may not do the right for you. Joshua was there. But Joshua, probably because of position and things around him, has forgotten. But in Yoruba, or where it is, there were. Any of you, What I've said is very simple. Your blessing is in the hands of somebody. And I pray that person will deliver it to you. You are not saying a better amen. And he turned to Joshua. But there are some things. Listen to this word. There are some things you do secretly. There are some things you do open. You speak out. Somebody say speak out. 
and he did not go alone. Probably going alone was it? Or let me back only. We will not be remembered. Or then we will say, Paul, my worry. <laughs> don't worry. You know, he's my good friend. Don't worry. But this time around, it is not Joshua alone. But what? The whole generation. Put your hands on your tummy. Say it together with me. Put your hands on your tummy. All mothers, stand up. Fathers may sit down. I don't care. You are going to say it for one minute. If you like speaking tongues, don't go stand here. Put your hands on your tummy. You are going to say, Lord, let my seed possess their possessions. Turn it to prayer. Turn it to prayer. Let my seed, my seed, my seed possess their possessions. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you talking to God? In Jesus' name we are praying. Sit down. And he turned to Joshua. And when he was talking to Joshua, he was talking with something identity. Probably you don't know. Caleb was not just an ordinary man. He was a man with a name. The name Caleb is from two compound words of Hebrew. The first one has to do with all. They call all. The entirety. And the second one has to do with heart. Is a man of wholehearted boldness. A man that is strong. Even when others were saying no, he said yes. We shall go to that land. We shall possess it. The Amalekites, the giant on the land, they cannot stop us. Whatever is here, they can stop you. Whatever is before you cannot stop you. Who is there before you cannot stop you. Who is holding that position cannot stop you. Who is ruling cannot stop you. But God will promote you in the name of Jesus. And he approached Joshua. Who is the Joshua of your life? The one that is in authority. Shall we stand up together? He was not just praying somewhere, but he took action. We are going to pray this prayer point. Stretch out your hand. Say it with me. Oh, you Joshua of my life. Give me my possession. Pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Sit down. I have signed an agreement to respect my boss. The RA has wasted our valuable time of prayer. Four things. Number one, possessing your possession through faithfulness. Number two, Possessing your possessions by faith. Joshua took faith. Number three, possessing your possession through positive confession. There are things you should be saying about your life. Don't say it again. Say something positive. And the last one, possessing your possession by breaking every causes of delay. In the book of Psalm 94 verse 7 the Lord vowed 
That was a statement in the book of Numbers chapter 14. Because of the sin of other 12, he said, the journey you went for 40 days to Scatterat will take you 40 years. After 40 years, then I will bring you to that land. That delayed the fulfillment of the prophecy of Caleb. No wonder Caleb said, I am now 85 years old. We're breaking causes of delay. Two things are very powerful. When God has placed a cause, who will remove it? When God, they say, they say I have vowed, I swear that they will not enter. That took the lengthy period of Caleb possessing his possession. But Joshua, his partner, possessed his own heart of leadership earlier. And 85. I'm rounding up. Another thing that I fear is the cause of unknown. You are suffering for what you did not know. And it caused delay. Something that he would have possessed a longer time. Delayed. Delayed for 45 years. There are some people here today. You've been experiencing delay in your life. In one way or the other. The Lord says, I will bring it to an end. Three angels. Angels of mercy. Angels of favor. An angel of blessing. They are standing here right now. You want a breakthrough. Away from that delay. Please come outside. Don't close your eyes. All eyes open. Enough to my delay. If you are that person, come outside. I'm not waiting for anybody. You want to monto be a baby? Some of you, you have the credential. But where you are, it seems there's a delay in prophecy. Begin to cry before the Lord God Almighty. Your
the speaker of your word and your son that has ministered to us today. Let him continue to increase in you in everything in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for answered prayers. We go back home celebrating with thanksgiving, with praises in our hearts forever and ever in Jesus' name. And the people of God shout, Amen. Go back to your place, sing a song to you as you are going to your places. God bless you. Can we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? Can we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? Can we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? Can we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? You can do better to the glory of God, to the King of Kings, the Ancient of Days. Kindly stand up as we close this session or this aspect with the word of prayer. Shall we all stand, please? Shall we all stand as we pray or close this session with a word of prayer? Our Father, we thank you. We honor you. We glorify your name. We thank you for the vessel you have used to bless our souls this morning. We thank you for the first day of our convention in session. And we thank you for the last day. Eternal Father, you are the only one that did it. All the, into the hand of kidnappers, into the hand of bandits, you know, allowed us to fall into their hands in the name of Jesus Christ. As we go, go ahead of us. Father, I pray that we will never hear any bad news as we go back in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray eternal rock of ages, the blessing of this convention in station, O Lord, will take over the nation in the name of Jesus Christ. All the prayers we pray for peace of the eternal rock of ages, we begin to experience them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, by tomorrow, April will come to an end. And May is in view. I pray eternal rock of ages, what we're not able to get in the month of April, you will release upon us in the month of May in the name of Jesus Christ. Favor in the morning, favor in the afternoon, favor in the evening, favor in the night, favor when we go out, favor when we come in in the name of Jesus Christ. The scripture says, where there is a casting down, there is going to be a lifting up. God will lift you up in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for answering our prayers. For this, we pray and ask in Jesus' name. Can I hear a better amen? I mean a better amen. You can take your seat. The convention chairman will... Okay. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Now, we want to appreciate the chairman of the convention we, who is rotating out of office. You will all understand that Dr. Olumide Kainde was our chairman and uh, he was not able to complete his tenure on account of his retirement. He attained the age of 65 the mandatory retirement age for convention uh, officers. And so when he retired last year, to complete his tenure for the Western Zone, uh, the convention approved Dr. Michael Aboduri to, uh, to be the chairman of the convention. And so at this annual session, he has completed the tenure of the convention chairman for the Western Zone. So we are moving to the Northern Zone. So I would like to invite the president of the convention who is going to um, express gratitude on behalf of the convention to our chairman. What we are going to do, the president will speak, and then the vice president finance and investment we present the gift of the convention to him. Where the ushers, the ushers, we take the offering bags round everybody. Let all of us say thank you to the convention chairman. It's my pleasure now to invite 
the president of Agri Convention, His Eminence, Reverend Dr. S.O.A. Ayokule, to come and express gratitude to our chairman and his dear wife. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Thank you for yesterday. May the Lord put honor in your lives in Jesus' name. Today we want to say a big thank you for the readiness of Reverend Dr. Uh, Reverend Mrs. Michael Adeoye Abodoni to feel in the interim a tenor that could not be completed by the occupant because of our practice on age 65, which made Reverend Dr. Lumide Kende to rotate out before completing his second term of three years. So we, Dr. Abadoni has sacrificed a lot in order to complete the second term of the Southwest before the chairmanship will rotate to the north. We are very grateful for the way he quickly blended and undo with dexterity the business sessions of the convention. He presided over the virtual convention last year, August, there, is it, was it August, um, November? Last year, November. And also presided today. He has also been presiding over the executive meetings of the Nigerian Baptist Convention. We, we, we. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for clapping. We saw the grace of God in him, and we feel that he cannot just rotate out without showing he took, giving him a token of our appreciation, not just in words, but in kind also. I mean, in, in, uh, in cash as well, no matter how small. Therefore, on behalf of all of us and on behalf of the Nigerian Baptist Convention, uh, we are saying a big thank you to you, Reverend Dr. Michael Abodoni, to for serving the law competently within a very short period in this position. We pray that the favor of the Lord will go with you and his blessings will be your portion and that of your generation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This good work you have done for the Lord will be counted to you on the day of reward as part of your righteousness in Jesus' name. Thank you. A good round of applause for him. A good round of applause. So, on behalf of all of us, we want to present to you this token of our love. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, at the choir, we'll be singing. The others will go around and uh, collect a thank you offering from each and every one of us. Uh, 
Always, the, God loves a cheerful giver all the time. And givers never lack. Givers never lack. So do this to encourage this servant of God for helping us do this assignment without make, placing any demand on us at all.
Bush. Let me invite the chairman of the Pastors Fellowship, Dr. Dogara Guana, to please come and offer a special prayer for the outgoing chairman of our convention. Dr. Dogara, please. All right, please, we want to pray for our chairman and his family. Uh, see peace. That's enough, please. Thank you very much. Let us pray. Our eternal Father and our God, we thank you for the gifts of the uh, Abodurians. Thank you for the service they have offered to the Nigerian Baptist Convention. Thank you for your grace that is multiplied upon them. We thank you for the much that you helped them to do within a very short time. And so, Father, we pray for them that your hand will continue to establish them. We ask, O oh God, even as they rotate out of office, may your presence remain permanently upon their lives in the name of Jesus. They continue in pastoral ministry, and so we plead with you that you will prosper their ministry. That as many that you bring under their cover, May your own cover be over them in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the gifts that have been presented. We sanctify every gift and we declare that it will be a blessing to this family. Thank you, eternal Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. Now, why the our chairman set us down? Uh, he will take over to preside over this meeting. And let me tell us, we deliberately moved the financial report from yesterday because of the crowded activities. As uh, a congressional people, we want to be accountable. The financial report, we need some time. So we felt that the atmosphere of yesterday was too crowded for us to receive the financial report. So this morning, we are going to take the financial report and uh, before we go into the rest of the business. Please start, understand with us that we move the financial report to today because we want to be accountable. Thank you. On that note, before I call the VP Finance and Investments to come and formally present the report. You have already had the report with you for about one week now, which you have been going through. Thank you for doing that. Uh, let me do quick information. Please, don't go before the last message and prayer. This is not just to keep you down for nothing. I think, I believe, God has reserved the best till the last hour as he, had, he did during the, the wedding of Cana in Galilee. Now, during the period of our revivers, God did a miracle. God did a miracle. 
And the family is here to testify. I will call them here now after I have greeted the Attorney General of your state and the Commissioner for Justice, Deacon Professor Oyelowo Oyewo S A N. Who is here with us? Thank you for representing us well. He's representing us well in your state by the grace of God. Thank you for coming, sir. We are delighted to have you. That family is here. Their daughter, I think. Their son, who never in his life had anything or spoke. During our revival, started speaking and started hearing. Let somebody stand up and shout hallelujah. I say stand up. You didn't hear stand up. You didn't hear it. That is why people are blessing and looting them. Simple obedience under God. You know that the people standing here are not here by, by their authority. That's why authority changes from one person to another as God pleases. During that revival, Holy Spirit was going around. This is the physical one we can see. There are some who never spoke, who never heard. God did a miracle in him. And the family is here. Over to me. Praise the Lord. Our brother here is a pastor in our denomination too. This child was brought to the prayer. Let's be seated, please. Was brought to us in the prayer room. He was born as a twin. But prematurely, while they were in the incubator, the first one died. This one is kind of the Kind of died in the incubator. But this one was not also taking a good care of. So she became deaf and dumb. But in the process of ministering and healing to him in the prayer room, he was able to speak, to hear, and to respond. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Now, because he has never heard, he will not be able to pronounce multiple syllables. But he will be able to pronounce at least Baba, fine. Uh, to pronounce two syllables, you have to break it into two. Um, Daniel, Daniel, I will give you a microphone. Eh? It's not hearing much the grammar because that's the first time. When I say Baba, you will say Baba. Take. Baba, put it here. Say Baba. Talk now. Say Baba. Baba. Talk. <laughs> Baba. Baba. Say Baba. 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 That's it. And many other ways has been pronouncing fine. Come on. When I say how are you, you will say fine. How are you? How are you? You will say fine. How are you? Say fine. Talk now. Don't be don't be shy. How are you? Fine. How are you? How are you? How are you? You say fine. How are you? Okay. Don't say how are you after me. Just say fine, fine. How are you? Okay. He's not, he was not hearing anything before. For him to hear, and the last of the testimony, sir. The operation, the surgical operation, they've paid deposit of 5 million naira. The total operation cost is 15 million. 18 
13. Okay, 13 million. Remain 8 million naira before the operation could take place or can take place the, uh, the, the coming month of May. But Jesus canceled the operation, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. the healing over this, our son, today is perfected in the name of Jesus. Let your mouth and your ears be widely opened in the name of Jesus. You are permanently healed. You are healed. You are healed. Your tongue is loose. Your ears loose to function properly. In the name of the risen Christ, Jesus our Lord and Savior. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. The day the Lord God we serve. And I know, before we depart from here, that for the reasons God has kept you here till now, you will receive the bottom pot. You will receive the last miracle yeah. for this annual convention in the name of Jesus Christ. The finance, uh, FIP finance and investment, please. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. All right, I want to invite you to bring out your financial report, the annual report and financial statement for the year ended 31st December 2020. It's uh, one of the big books in our park. I like to 